Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I'm so excited you're here today with me for today's Faves and Fails. It is the end of the month wrap up of everything that I tried and loved and didn't love so much from the previous month. So this is the start of October, which means that this Faves and Fails is for September 2023. So in September, I did a makeup try on, a fall lookbook, a skincare video. And the video that was the most exciting one for me personally was the launch of my new travel brush set with BK Beauty. So if you missed that video, I wanted to share this first with you today. We've been working on this for over a year now and I wanted it to be just perfect for you guys and I wanted it to have everything in it that you had been asking us for. Since my brushes launched, you guys have been asking for brushes with shorter handles and what better way to give you brushes with shorter handles than in a travel set. So the travel brush set comes with this beautiful silver faux leather pouch. It's got my name here. It's got the little BK Beauty emblem here. It is so cute. It's so compact. I love it that it's not going to take up a lot of space in my luggage or in my backpack, which is where I usually carry my brushes. Inside, I've got a collection of five brushes with shorter handles. So the five brushes that come with the set, all in travel sizes, are of course the A506. Could not have a travel set without including my concealer brush because concealer is the one thing that nobody goes without. You also get my A507 angled blush brush, which can do triple duty when you're traveling to apply your blush, your setting powder, and your highlighter. For the eyeshadow brushes, we included my A501 all over shader to lay down the base, and you can also use it for your shimmers or for blending out your crease. And we also included the A502, which is my medium size crease brush. It's perfect for doing your detail work, disguising your hood, and of course, this one does all your blending for you. And last but certainly not least is my Holy Grail foundation brush, the BK101 in a travel size in my gray color, so it's been and renamed the A101 and isn't that a cutie? It goes perfectly with the other brushes and the pouch does double duty. It converts into a cup that can stand by itself like on the vanity in your hotel room so that'll take up a lot less room there. This set includes five brushes but there's room for eight brushes in seat belts inside and then of course once you have your brushes in there's even a little bit of room in here for maybe a mascara, a couple of eyeliners, something like that. So if you don't wear a lot of makeup this could be your entire travel makeup kit in this nice sleek small compact design. It was really amazing to see so many of you guys who had asked for this travel brush set really respond so well to it and order it. So hopefully you have yours by now and if you do I hope that you've had a chance to use it. I hope that you love it as much as I do. If you're interested in purchasing a set I have my discount code for you. Angie10 will get you 10% off at BK Beauty on anything across the board but this makes a great holiday gift. Of course my other brushes also make great holiday gifts. The uh, A506 makes a great stocking stuffer. So anyway, I know it's getting to be that time of year when we get to start thinking about the holidays coming up and what we're getting people. So anyway, would make a great gift. And the link for that will be in the information box below the video. All right, moving on. I want to talk about clothing next because the fall lookbook just went up last Friday. And if you missed that one, I'll link the video for you right up top here so that you can hop over and look at that one. Lots of really good fall outfit ideas in there. I had a few dupes of things. So I thought I'd share what were the top sellers from there and also some of the things that were my favorites from the lookbook. The number one top seller from the entire lookbook was this long sleeve t-shirt. And I can see why. This is such a perfect t-shirt. It is the perfect transition item for fall. It's got long sleeves. It's ribbed, but it's also got a little bit of a waffle kind of weave to it. It's got some texture to it. It's got a nice deep v-neck and it's just so pretty on and so flattering. I absolutely love it. I ordered it in two other colors. It comes in like a rust and kind of like a taupey color, kind of like this color. And I believe I ordered it, although they're not here yet. So did I put them in my cart and forget to hit order. Oh dang, I hope not. I think there's plenty of stock in on these, but these are awesome. And the fabric on this is so soft. It's so nice. And it just looks great with your jeans or whatever you're going to wear it with. So that was the top seller of the entire lookbook. The second highest seller of the entire lookbook was these sneakers. Aren't these the bomb? Oh my gosh, I love these sneakers so much. These are the most comfortable sneakers. They have like a spongy, almost memory foamy kind of sole in 
them. These actually are kind of a dupe of a Chloe sneaker. So these are 150 normally, but I believe they're on sale right now. And so you can get them for about $75 right now. And they look great with everything. These sneakers, like I'm wearing a denim skirt today with the off-white version of these, and they look so good with skirts. They look good with, you know, wide leg jeans. They look good with wide leg pants. They look good with regular jeans. I mean, you can just wear these with everything. And then number three item from the lookbook was a dupe for the $168 Spanx pants that we all went crazy for last fall. You know, I did find a dupe for them last fall, but they weren't exactly quite a dupe because they weren't pull-on, they weren't elastic, they didn't, you know, suck everything in and hold your booty up quite as well as the Spanx one. So anyway, these are the pants, and when I tell you they are identical to the Spanx, they are identical. The only difference that I could find between them is that these pants are a little bit shorter, which is going to be better for probably the vast majority of people because they're about two inches shorter than the Spanx pants. They're made out of almost the exact same Spanx fabric with the four-way stretch, so they do the same amount of holding your butt up and holding your tummy in and making everything look so great. And they are the perfect pants for wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. You know, you put a cute top on top and then bam, your outfit is set. And they go so great with those black and white sneakers too. And the other great thing about them is just like the Spanx pants, they don't attract animal hair. And then another dupe from the lookbook was this dupe, which is a dupe of a Free People tank top. And I had purchased one of these tank tops over the summer. So this little tank is so cute. On. You can wear it as a layering piece under things. I usually, over the summer, I would just wear it as a top with my wide leg jeans and it looked like oh, perfection. It was my favorite outfit to wear all summer. It comes in a number of different colors. Price difference, it's $20 less than the Free People one. So it's under $20 and it is a really great dupe. I literally cannot tell the difference between this one and the gray version of the Free People one. All right, I wanted to give the top I'm wearing a mention. I have shown you this top a few times. I actually got the original one of it that I got last fall, and I love this top so much. Anytime that I just need to look a little bit elevated, but yet still casual, but really nice, <laughs> I reach for this top. There's just something about it. I love like the little sleeve detail. It's not so much a poof as it is. It just has a few little like darts or something folded in and so it just gives it a little bit of shoulder interest but it's very lightweight it's this nice rib fabric and i have three of the long sleevers but i want to show you this one because it's a short sleever but the sleeves aren't super short it goes almost to the elbow so it is an option if you wanted to stay cooler but of course it also does come in a long sleeve version and then the last piece of clothing that didn't make it into the fall lookbook. I was thinking I would just save it for holiday, but I've seen a couple of other influencers have this dress on and I'm like, oh no, it's gonna sell out before I even show it. And you know, if you love the dress and wanted it, I don't want you to miss out on it because I waited too long to share it. So anyway, here it is. It is this beautiful faux leather dress and I just loved it when I saw it because it's like perforated. So it has all these tiny, tiny, tiny little dot grid pattern all over it. And it's just a little strappy kind of form fitting midi length faux leather dress. It is beautiful. The price is amazing. It's under a hundred dollars. If you have something to go to for the holidays and this kind of dress is up your alley, then definitely snag it now because I got a feeling it's not going to be hanging around for too much longer. Okay, I do have a couple more things in clothing to share. One is the no-show socks that I shared with you guys in last I think it was faves and fails, I want to say, where I was talking about how the um, socks are always so short that they like pull on your toenails. And I was like, ah, too much information. <laughs> I should just zip it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many of you were like, no, talk about that because that's what happens to me too. Apparently it is not completely universal, but enough of us have that problem that it really is a pain. It's a pain in the toe. <laughs> the other problem that I have with no-show socks is that if they're not too short in the toe, then they're too big in the heel. Does this happen to you guys too, where you pull on your sneaker and you've got all this 
fabric bunched up hanging out of the top of your sneaker that you have nothing to do with it. And if you stuff it in, well, it's just uncomfortable under your foot all day. It's not that I'm not ordering my size. So anyway, I wanted to share these with you. I shared them last time. I hope some of you got them because these are really, really good. I have worn them so much since then and I've gotten two more sets. So originally I ordered the black and white set, then I ordered the pastel color set, and then I ordered the just like tan skin color set. So they come in a set of six. So I've got 18 pairs of these hanging around now and I love them. These are not going to be completely no-show if you're wearing like a loafer or a really low-cut sneaker, but for like this kind of a sneaker, they work perfectly for me with these. Um, and so I highly recommend these. These are the best. They're so comfortable, especially if you like something that is more of like a sock feeling inside of your sneaker. They're not super thick, but they do have extra uh, elastic and ribbing around the center of the foot so it kind of helps to hold your instep up. I mean these are just the best little socks. I walk in these all day every day and it never slides down into my shoe which was the number one thing that you guys were asking about. No, these never slide down into my shoe and I love them. I've washed them and worn them and they're great. But I was talking to my sister about these and she was like, yeah, those are too socky for me. I like something thinner, more more like a nylon. And I was like, Ugh, that just doesn't do it for me. I like something more socky. I said, but these, these are visible if you have, you know, like I said, like a loafer or if you're trying to wear a pump or if you're trying to wear a ballet flat, these are not gonna work for you. She goes, well, I have these great socks that I use. You wanna try them? So she gave me a pair of hers to try and oh my God, you guys, I could not believe how good these were. And I couldn't believe that she was keeping them a secret from me our entire lives. <laughs> like, I don't know how long she's known about them, but I was like, what? <laughs> how could you? <laughs> okay, so it's a tiny little sock. Look how big that opening is. So when you have a shoe on, you cannot see this thing at all. But the magic in these things is that they have this sticky rubberized band that goes all the way around. It's not just on the heel because things like this that have the rubberized band just on the heel, they always slide into your shoe. But this has it all the way around and this rubberized band, it almost glues itself to your skin. I am wearing them. Am I wearing them today? Yeah, I'm wearing them today with these sneakers. Let me see, is there a way for me to get my foot up in the frame? I don't need to do that because I took footage when I was on my walk the other day. I was walking my dogs and I actually got lost in my own neighborhood. What I intended to be a half hour walk turned into an hour and a half walk. And so I was surprised that these little tiny ped socky nylon-y type things stayed on in my sneakers the entire time. They didn't go down into my shoe. They didn't pull on my toenails. These are amazing. So I'll link these below the video as well. So this is something that I forgot to mention in last month's Faves and Fails. So in August, I did a packing video on how to pack carry-on and I had gotten this big tote bag that was amazing and I meant to talk about it in that video and it was sitting here under my desk and I finished the video, walked away, and then the next day I came back and I was like, why is that up here? <laughs> I was having like a over 60 moment. But anyway, here it is. Um, it is this really big size tote bag. Now this is the fully expanded size. And what's so cool about this is that it has an expando zipper here. So this whole bottom compartment, this whole three inch bottom compartment zips up to nothing. It's going to work on getting it zipped here while I try to also talk. So yeah, like if you're on a trip and you did carry on and your bag was so stuffed that you have no room for souvenirs or the eight clothes that you bought there or whatever, um, this has the expando zipper. Now I'm not sure once you expand it if it would fit under your seat on the airplane, depends on what size plane you're going on, but you could definitely fit it in the overhead. All right, so I think I've almost got it. Zoop. So here's the size of it when it is all zipped up and you already saw the size of it when it's unzipped. So it has a nice big pocket here. On the back, it's got this slide through strap. So you slide it over your suitcase handle and it just rides on top of your suitcase. It's got a really secure zipper pocket back here. So this would be perfect for like your passport. And on the inside just has another zipper pocket, a couple of side pockets here, just a big roomy bag for carrying everything that you might want to carry on a trip. If you're going anywhere, also makes a great weekend or if you're just going on a little weekend trip. All right, let's do makeup next. I have some makeup to share from the trying on new makeup video. This was by far my favorite thing, hands down, from 
the new makeup video was the new Natasha Denona I Need Nude Palette. And I think I did talk about this in last month's Faves and Fails as a fave, but I hadn't done the video or maybe I had filmed the video but hadn't put it up yet. Anyway, I think I only talked about this briefly, but since then I've used this just about every single day. I, I am so in love with this palette, I can't even tell you. It's so spendy, but so worth it, I feel. I feel like the Natasha Denona, the quality is just so amazingly good from the packaging to the really big mirror. But of course, what you're really paying for in the palette is all of these gorgeous pans of color. This is the perfect palette for fall. It's got you covered if you want to do something warm, but it never goes too red or too bright orange. You know, I do like my eyeshadow shades to be muted and these are the perfect muted warm tones like this one up here is so beautiful and this guy down here is gorgeous but then it gives you a bunch of taupes grays mid-tone mattes that you can play with in the crease and then the shimmers in this oh my gosh the shimmer colors in this are so next level beautiful like they just reflect light so perfectly. I love using a darker color out here and a lighter color in here and then smudging them together in the center and it just gives me the most beautiful effect on the eye. I just think that this palette is just mm. They really hit it out of the park with this one. I really haven't bought many palettes this year because you know I look at them all and they're all way too warm, the whole thing. And this one, I feel like I would definitely be able to use every shade in this palette. Um, so then my other favorite things from that video, I really love the e.l.f. Halo Glow Blush. This is in the shade Candlelit. This is such a pretty blush and it's like a one and done. You don't need any highlighter with this. I'm actually not wearing it today because I forgot. It's got like the little puffy applicator here and the color is just so pretty. Look at that. And it's just like a peachy russet tone. So perfect for this time of year, but it has a lot of sheen to it. So it'll really give you that lit from within glow look. And then the other things that I really love from that video, um, one was this lip liner. This is from Maybelline. It's their Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. Now, um, I don't really think it does anything for shaping, but it's really easy to use. It's a mechanical pencil. And, you know, I've been using the Urban Decay lip liners, which are sharpenable pencils, and the NYX lip liners for the longest time, and really nothing has beat those in my estimation in a long time or come close to those, and this one did. So I really like this one. This one really stays on the lips. I put this on with the lipstick I'm going to talk about next. And then five hours later, after eating lunch and having a glass of water and then just living life for five hours, it was still on there. I was like, wow, what staying power? And it didn't feel drying, not for a second. If you have lip wrinkles above your upper lip, it doesn't run up into your lip wrinkles and will keep your lipstick in place. So this was really awesome. So I love this lip liner. I'm wearing it again today. This is in the shade 110 Purely Nude. So pick that up if you get a chance. And then the lipstick that I have on today that I wore in that video is from Anastasia. And it is called Tease. It's their satin lipstick. The packaging is so pretty. This nice uh, rose gold bullet. And here's the shade on the lipstick. It's a really pretty peachy nude color, but I think I'm definitely going to buy another one of these because this is like a perfect summer color for me. I think I want something just a little bit richer for the fall. I mean, obviously I have other lipsticks, but I really like this and I like that. It's not super sticky. Like it's a more like a traditional full coverage lipstick and I really like that about it. And again, not drying at all. The product that I really, really did not like at all from that video was also from Anastasia, and it is their Loose Setting Powder, and I got it in the shade Vanilla. Now, I really liked the foundation, and I thought it actually looked fairly natural when I first put it on, but you know, I always set my makeup, so the second I put this on, the whole thing went like cakey and heavy and just looked bad. So I only put this on one side, and throughout the day, it just failed. Like <laughs> the makeup was more creased on that side of my face. I got shiny looking on that side of my face throughout the day. And of course, as usual, my NYX Mineral Matte Powder, which I ended up using on the other side of my face, this kept the makeup more crease-free and out of my wrinkles better and also helped it to not get shiny later on in the day. So this really, again, saves the day. I don't know how many times, how many other powders I have to use 
<laughs> and then always come back to this one, but that seems to be what's happening these days. Some other makeup that wasn't in a video this month that I'm really, really loving is this Say Highlighter. This is their Star Glow Highlighter. In the fall lookbook, I get so many compliments on my makeup that day. People were telling me that my skin looked great. They wanted to know what foundation I was wearing, if I was wearing highlighter. So the combination I was wearing in that video was my number one De Chanel foundation with a little bit of the Say Star Glow over it. And I don't put it on over like everything. I just squirt out the tiniest little bit and then I just tap it on like the fronts of my cheeks into my nose, over my eyebrows, a little bit on my chin, and it just gives you like this beautiful, soft glow that doesn't accentuate your pores. Like a lot of other things definitely accentuate my pores, and so this is so pretty. It just gives your skin this like dewy moistness that looks so good, and this foundation, of course, is one of my holy grails, but these two together are like superstar quality. I guess something was working for me that day, and this was the combo. I didn't have a chance to try a lot of new things in skincare this month. The skincare video I did was about getting your skin to the next level by combining active ingredients because I had gotten so many questions over the past month before that asking me about the things that I was using in my skincare routine that I routinely combine. I don't mix them, you know, in my hand or mix them on my face, but they're in my same routine. So I'll use like a vitamin C with an alpha hydroxy acid in the morning. And then I use a retinoid at night. And then I use peptides with that. And then I use niacinamide with that. And I am a firm believer that you can use all of these things in your same skincare routine. Um, and there's actually scientific uh, studies and data that shows that they can be used together and a lot of them there's even studies that show that they work synergistically together to give you a better result. It was about things that you can use with retinoids specifically and so all the combos that you can do with retinoids. So if you've been confused about what you can and can't use with your retinoids I would highly recommend that you watch that video. The main reason that people tell you not to use things together is because of a chance of irritation, right? So nobody wants irritated skin. There's nothing worse. I have it, as you know, my neck. Oh, the poor thing. Angry, irritated skin is no fun, so you want to avoid that, and there are ways to do that. But I did want to talk about two things, one a fave, one a fail. The fave is my Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser, because this cleanser is really amazing, especially if you do have sensitive skin, and if you are trying to use different active ingredients that may cause sensitivity. Using a milder cleanser can actually help your skin to not get irritated when you're trying to use active ingredients together, right? So this is so great. It's got so many good soothing ingredients in it. This contains all these really good soothing extracts like pine bark extract, chamomile, green tea and aloe. So anyway, just wanted to give that a shout out. It is my favorite cleanser. And then the fail was something from the company Haru Haru Wonder. Now I discovered Haru Haru Wonder a couple of months ago when I was sent a PR box from um, Stylevana and they sent me the Haru Haru Wonder black rice sunscreen that I am absolutely in love with. It's a chemical sunscreen from Korea that is so fantastic. You know, I have sensitive skin and I have never been able to use a chemical sunscreen ever until this sunscreen. And so I've been using it every day since like, I wanna say July. I started a one week test with it because usually within five days, sunscreen is really gonna irritate my skin. But oh my gosh, I love it so much. So now it's been a few, Little birdie just landed on the tree outside my window. A goldfinch, is that what it is? It's like a flying lemon. Ooh, there he goes. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, so it's a great sunscreen. I'll link it in the info box below the video. I have, I think, a 10% off at Stylevana. Stylevana sent me some more products and they included a couple from Haru Haru Wonder, one of which is their Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Soft Cleansing Gel having a hard time reading it because it's like this teeny, teeny, tiny white print on this light gray. Um, anyway, I tried this and I didn't like this at all, unfortunately. So you know how it is with me and brands, hit or miss. I could love one of your products and then another one I could be like, meh, not so much. I was kind of psyched about this, but I was also a little bit nervous about it because it does contain cocoa betaine and all the cleansers that have like the coconut derived uh, surfactants don't agree with my skin. They make my skin feel dry and tight and I know they're they're supposed to be less drying than other surfactants but 
I gotta say, um, I always open my eyes when I'm washing my face. Don't ask me why, but I do. Um, my eyes stung, which I wasn't happy with. I do like it that it is fragrance-free, but then afterwards, my skin felt so dry and tight. You know that dry and tight feeling? I hate that feeling. So I'm just not used to washing my face with anything that has any kind of a like surfactant in it in general, um, because the things that I use to wash my face, they don't really have surfactants. So did not love this. I really haven't tested much new in the way of skincare because I'm also testing the Nera Pro device and I'm hoping to have that video uh, after my 90 days of use with it up for you in the beginning to middle of November. So stay tuned for that. So while I'm testing that, I'm not really introducing anything too new into my skincare routine. So I think those are all the faves and the fails that I had to share with you today. I did want to mention one other thing because it is October Menopause Awareness Month. I was wondering if you guys had seen this article. There was a new study out that showed that taking HRT prevents brain shrinkage and memory decline in menopause. I'll put the link in the info box below the video. Just wanted to mention that one. And since it is Menopause Awareness Month, I just wanted to give a shout out to my two favorite menopause doctors here on YouTube. The first one is Dr. Barbie Taylor over at Menopause Taylor. She is awesome. She, you can do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with her or you can watch all of her videos where she gives you a really comprehensive menopause education. And then the other one is Dr. Heather Hirsch, who's up in Boston. And you can actually see her live in person she does I think she does telemedicine as well as live visits in her office depending on where you're located she's also on Instagram and on YouTube so I'll put their handles and their links in the information box as well in case you're looking for any menopausal information to help you you know menopause is something that if we're all lucky enough to live long enough we will all go through but it doesn't mean that we have to suffer with the symptoms there are lots of different things that can be done about it from hormone replacement therapy to lifestyle changes to non hormonal medications that you can take. You're going to be postmenopausal for the rest of your life and so you don't want to just let this slide without being educated about it. So I always recommend being educated about menopause so that you can help yourself be the healthiest and best you that you can be. So that is it for today's video everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.